do the thing. KFC presents. We've got to... <laughs> Before we can actually... Did you just... Did you get like a, a... That's just like a, hey, people can be your game thing. Oh, okay, never mind. Are, are you ready for this, Michael? Um, we haven't synced or anything. Well, if uh, we're doing it through OBS, it's going to automatically sync for us. To answer your question, no. No, I'm not prepared. I'm not ready for any of his 27 herbs and spices. 7, 11. His 28 herbs and spices. Are you ready to play I Love You, Colonel Sanders? <laughs> A finger licking the <laughs> dating simulator. <laughs> I don't, why are you licking your fingers after this? Because I've, you gotta get all of Colonel Sanders' juices off of you. I've been to KFC many, many times in my young career. Now, no, for are the we record, continuing? No, I was gonna say. Okay, never mind. Alright. Uh, I was gonna say, before we begin, I have played this game for five minutes. He, he, he got a good taste, that Colonel Sanders. What's our name? Oh, this is a big choice. This is as much character creation as this game is going to give us. Admiral Sanders? No, no. Captain Fine. Crunch. It's got to be Captain Crunch, right? Captain Crunch or no, Captain? No, no, Cap Apostrophe. Oh, yeah, Cap no, that, that's going to be, that's going to be, here, uh, just go back a couple. There ah, we go. Right, we got to avoid the Captain lawyers. Crunch. All right, confirm. Look. <laughs> Those are some delectable biscuits. Mm, yeah, so much better than anything KFC will ever provide you. Listen, K well, let's not start dissing KFC here, or, or Juan's gonna kill me. He he eats KFC. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Are you gonna be the narrator as I fuck Colonel Sanders? Yes, Michael. <laughs> I'm going to let you fuck Colonel Sanders. Oh. Slowly. Softly. Sensually. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up! Now! 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 Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in! Oh Jesus Christ, stop it, stop it! What do we do? Smack the clock up and at him, or do we throw this clock out the window? <laughs> stay in bed forever? That's an option? Let's yes. Stay in bed! Alright, fuck it. You slept through the school year and gave up on your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh fuck, had I known- Game oh, over! No! <laughs> that was so hard, I give up. No, no, no! <laughs> we gotta go all the way back to the loading screen now! Oh no, 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 no! no. <laughs> oh, Jason! Oh, what are you feeding that chicken? Side drops? Um... Can I skip it? Oh my god, I can skip it this oh, time! Oh, thank god! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 10 level battle. Captain Crunch is no more. Uh, nope, no, keep it, keep it, keep it. Kipnin. Kipnin. Crunk. Crouch. <laughs> so, so how are you doing on the on the field out there? Oh, I'm Kipnin Crouch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he being called a Coney now? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, uh, mm. my, my, like I was Same saying. Same side, world peaceful, you're talking chicken, oh smack that clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, <laughs> Academy of Learning. You know, Order. that's almost as good as the Savannah College of Art and Design. It tells that's... you almost nothing about what you're going to be doing there. You know, at another part, this straight up just sounds like it's straight out of an anime name. Um... That's fair. What is on your? What is that boy band? I don't know. K-pop. I don't know if I'm boy or girl. Your mind More begins like to wander. KFC pop. <laughs> what? Who will? Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Do I need to take this seriously? Or do I allow myself to daydream for a bit, thinking about the future? Listen, I don't. Oh my god, I just noticed Chicken Jesus on the wall. <laughs> I thought that was Kung Fu Chicken for a Holy while. Holy god! Kung Fu Chicken Jesus? No, that's just straight up Chicken Jesus. He died for our kernels. Um, I need to take this seriously, otherwise you I'm never getting through this. Captain Crouch. <laughs> oh fuck, who's gonna ask Captain Crouch? Crouch. <laughs> it's Captain Crouch. 
Are you, are you gonna be Captain Crouch? Or? Oh, uh, I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through the morning ch your morning check like, teeth, teeth equal brush, hair equal comb, <laughs> face <laughs> equal to your eyes, nothing can stop you now! Jesus Christ. Um, you confidently grab a biscuit and strut out the door and head off to class. What dorm room has the ability to make a biscuit? Also, uh, just what you needed to get your blood flowing. Anything Look at the steam rising stops on that. your blood from flowing. Like I was saying earlier, my friend Juan, he'll he'll go to KFC and he'll he's lactose intolerant and he will just destroy that mac and cheese. Before that mac and cheese just destroys Standing him. Standing you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Oh, Jesus. Here comes your lifelong, lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's ah, the most adorably ah, awkward person ah. you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Why? Why is her her oh, like tie oh. so? What's her, What's her voice? Uh, good morning, Captain Crouch. Are you excited <laughs> for the first day of the rest of our lives? Um, it's Captain Crouch. <laughs> Actually, I'm... <laughs> because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Love shouldn't be in the food. Classic <laughs> Miriam. <laughs> raised by Master <laughs> Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Oh shit, they were on the Master Chef show? Ever since we were little ba little babies, playing together, and you rescued me from that quick sip box? What? It's the most dangerous thing I've ever heard of. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. But with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's <laughs> famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. How the fuck do you do school in three days? That does explain how we slept through the entire school year if how it's a sleep? long weekend. <laughs> Take a Xanax, you're gone. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Moving she just on. went into J.C. Penney's and went to town. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject? Give her some relief. <laughs> I kind of want to really hear that school gossip, though. Change the subject at school gossip. It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the, sub <laughs> to change the subject to something more interesting. She's anxious. What a bitch. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who's oh, enrolled at this school. No. It's either a live turkey or it's the colonel himself. Well, considering our professor's a dog. <laughs> what? Your yeah. professor's a dog? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mysterious student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? <laughs> I'm sorry, I mispronounced I'll get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. Harland? He's got a massive foot. <laughs> they say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born. From an egg. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was I right? Is he a chicken? An egg? Like like a chicken? Or perhaps a turkey, like I said earlier? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like how he's homeless. Like, I... <laughs> Where he once fought a bear with just his smile. I have several questions. He bit him. He bit the bear. <laughs> That's not what smiling is. Smiling is not biting, Michael. Tell that to dogs. You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare to apply to him. Dreamy. Wait, is this... Is our character, like, pansexual? That's I so, guess. That's so progressive of KFC. Before you can get out another word out, you've rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Well, you're a prick. Hey! It's Ashley. Ashley, your arch rival. <laughs> She's totally <laughs> evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She's... She can get anything she wants and she knows it. She's got a boob window. And a single devil tooth. Um, I... I had I had an anecdote and then that just surprised me out of it. What is going on with her tights? Are th those are chicken? Those are chicken those legs. Are also, chicken. you have a line. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Oh God, which was it gonna voice her? 
Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shits. <laughs> you leave Captain Crunch's crush shits alone. They are perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but you had to add extra letters to make yourself feel better than everyone. What a bitch. Is that a thing? Um, do people do that? That was referenced in a play once, so oh, right. I guess it's true. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We've got a thing. I have a fetish for them, and I am not afraid to admit it! Listen, she's, she's a freshman. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> I Down in a van! Down the room! I'm living in a box! <laughs> Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. I mean, he's totally checking out the dick. I'm checking out the dick. I mean, you do you. With a name like Van Van the, the Man, 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 he's gotta have just a... a hawk. <laughs> they don't serve pork there. Ahem. <clears throat> Van Van? Oh. oh my god, it's Jojo. You, uh, Rang Rang? Oh my god, I hate it. I hate you've it. never oh. been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. I mean, it's only three days away. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. Can you, like, zip your fly? No. Just please, Van? No. Van, what is that belt doing? Absolutely nothing. It is here for style points. It's one of those uh, massaging belts that, that electrifies you to it's get It's here to help with my abs! <laughs> when the first day of school is about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. I resist no such urge. Fuck off, Miriam! <laughs> Miriam is your best friend. No, fuck off, Miriam! You heard me, I don't go back! <laughs> see you later, losers. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. <laughs> They're doing fart noises now? Who's voicing him? I mean, you did the uh noise. You you ran headfirst into this boy. Oop, into this oop. sweet boy. Uh, that's the same as Miriam. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. Did you just shit yourself to death? You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, the door. <laughs> oh. That should do the trick. I love you! Ooh, whoa, I got eyes for the colonel and nothing else. I think you mean thank no, you. No, I love you! Fuck me! Oh. Fuck me hard! This is a really progressive game for a... My name is Popped. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. And you're just a shiny... <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name cloud clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down now. <sighs> Hi, Pop. I'm Captain and Crouch. So, are you gonna make me hold this door all day, or...? No! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kinda cute? It is just you. It is... <laughs> <laughs> It is 100% you, Miriam. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place on a podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? I'm changing his voice every time. You must be Sprinkles, head instructors and CEO of UCSAL. <laughs> that is adorable, <laughs> and I love him. <laughs> Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. I just want to pinch his little cheeks. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! 
I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I don't think that's true. I don't think KFC is fine dining. L like I've been trying- Out of nowhere, <laughs> wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. <gasps> oh, chilly! Someone close the window! Make me scrub. And then... He walks in. Oh my god. Oh no! You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. And so does my arteries. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders into <laughs> uh, Sorry, <laughs> Professor Dog, before he could finish his sentence. <laughs> Please, call the Colonel. You gotta get more Colonel southern than that. Sanders. If I can't hear the racism in your voice, you're not doing that voice. I thought right. you could always hear the racism in my voice. Let's not get into that. <laughs> That's a bag of worms. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins <laughs> to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty, sweats a lot. Ha ha ha. Maybe we should open the door back up before faucet pits melt the student into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Ignore the fact that I was having a stroke briefly. It's just <laughs> these massive muscles. <laughs> you two both know my name. Um, we were in kindergarten class. What is it with you with the really weird insults? I, I don't have, have no option. other option. Yeah, I have to. What if I want to sit in my filth? It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot. Da, da, da. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. <laughs> Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. There better be adorable tiny food. I expect this Chekhov's gun to play off. Listen, I paid a lot of money for this school. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. <laughs> what? <laughs> With swords and stuff. You know, a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking. <laughs> Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Um. I... Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? You don't recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. I give him the perfect voice. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled! <laughs> if you utter one more word before I finish ten points to Gryffindor! Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clank may... Clank? Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels with my tears. What? You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> <laughs> is this just a new Pokemon game and you tricked me into playing it somehow? No, we're gonna play the new Pokemon game later. <laughs> The class bursts into laughter. What a silly boy. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep whiff. Sniff, I think, is the word you're looking oh, for. Oh, yes. I am going to find out what I like about you. Hmm. <sighs> your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. What? <laughs> I don't... You decide to try and butter him up by giving a treat from your pocket. But what kind? 
Um, this is a very important decision that I think should wait until next episode. Joy of joys. Thank you all for joining us, and just you wait and see if I'm gonna give that dog my ball. <laughs> maybe I'm saving it for Colonel Sanders, or maybe I'm giving him a beef treat. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> all right. Oh, sweet Jesus.